If you want to have some type of polarity with a person or thing, there has to be some type of magnetic force. Okay? So it's not just about people. So just imagine this being feminine, yen, and this being masculine or, or uh, a man, and then having that spark of energy that creates that sexual attraction, that excitement, that passion. But this can also happen when you're doing something that you really like, that you start feeling energized in your body. Part of some of the Dallas exercises I do uh, that I teach with clients who are kind of working through sexual trauma because they've shut themselves off is to connect to that energy on their own. They don't need a partner. So they can feel alive again and feel that movement because they are, their channels are blocked off from that trauma that they had in their body. What is uh, <coughs> interesting too is that people who um, are usually have low libido more often also are depressed because there's some energy flows not open up so they're not completely open and awake and feeling life's pleasures. Okay? And I, don't quote me on that. I mean, I don't want someone to walk up to me, you know what? I masturbate and I'm still depressed. <laughs> that might be a whole other story. I just, just give me an example, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so when, we, when I talk about masculine energy, it could be, it could be a, a woman who embodies masculine energy. It can be a man who embodies feminine energy. Uh, if you're, say, a woman, and hopefully you'll agree with this, when you are getting over a breakup, have you often thought about getting more focused into your career or job? Because what ends up happening is because you become so emotional, more your yin, feminine, that it doesn't make you feel grounded and it, you feel maybe out of control. So by maybe um, getting more involved with your career, which is more directional, more masculine, it directs your mind and it puts your intention on something so you don't feel that. Okay? And then for a person, just say if they're like really stressed out, they're kind of in more directional mode, they're really masculine, they might turn on music when they get home, they might play the guitar to kind of get more in their yin to relax, so they're not so much in their head. <clears throat> okay? And I know some people think that I had someone at a a man's workshop talk about this and he was asking if it was um, something that was more cultural but I, I feel it's something that's more innate in us vibrationally uh, for example um, men here if you're in front of a, another if you're in front of a woman and you just met her and she were to tell you she told she would, were to share nothing but her work you know I got this project going on I'm working on this I'm closing this deal I feel really good about this how would that make you feel would it make you feel excited? <laughs> I, I mean, that's a big no there, obviously. <laughs> and, the, and what I'm saying is, I mean, these are generalizations. It doesn't mean that you can't talk about your dreams and aspirations, but vibrationally, would, I, don't, I, I don't want to fake a woman's voice here, but um, now for a woman saying, you know, I feel this, and you know, talking about you, being softer, being more loving, receptive, how would that make you feel? Okay. Now with women, if you're with a man and uh, you're just to say, I just can't figure out my life, you know, I just don't know what to do. God, what are you doing with your life? That's cool. How does that make you feel? 